Hey everybody, it's me, Edward Jones, aka Daniel Kuhn. Back with a new video. This is just a short video I want to do on some of the events that happened over in um, in Texas, in Houston, Texas, uh, with Hurricane Harvey. Um, first off, as you see, I see I got another shotgun in this vid. This is this is a Western field that I've worked on before, and I think it was appropriate for this video. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Irish. I just watched a video of his yesterday where he was doing some coverage on. Uh, on the situation out in Houston with, uh, you know, with looters, and it was, I, was, I, was, I gotta admit, I was, I was a bit surprised to hear that there was, you know, any, that there was any looting going on, but, you know, it's, it's a situation that people will take advantage of, so it's not, you know, I should, you know, I, I shouldn't have been that surprised to hear it happening, but I reached in the link to a video, which I will also include the link in this video, um, of uh, the young lady uh, go, uh, going by in her car, and she came, she come across a, this uh, like a strip mall, and there's there's a guy in a pick there's a guy with his pickup truck in the parking lot. It's an older gentleman, and he like he has a Renton 870, um, either that or a Winchester 1300. He has a but he has a riot shotgun, and I noticed it has a has like a flashlight at the end of it, and he's basically standing guard uh, in that parking lot. He was willing to protect the store from anyone who would try to go in and steal stuff. You know, you know, um, he may know that there was an ATM machine knocked over, um, that you have all these people, you know, it's a shame that you have all these people taking advantage of, um, of a disaster to try to, you know, go out and steal some stuff. Um, I remember I saw some, I saw some other footage of some guys, uh, like two guys walking out with a plasma screen TV, like he was trying to use it, use a flat screen as an umbrella. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this old gentleman, he said he was a, um, a retired police officer, and He's, you know, he's watching out for his neighbor's property. It reminded me of the situation a couple years back uh, happened to a guy named Joe Horn where he shot two burglars that had robbed that had, went, had broke into his neighbor's house next door. And he was on the phone with, with a 911 telling them, the, you know, tell them what's going on. And, you know, he's saying, you know, the, the dispatcher was telling them, stay where you are, don't, don't, don't intervene. But he was saying that, you know, it's, it didn't seem right. Something, you know, it, it, just, it just didn't seem right letting, you know, Blend someone, rob his neighbors, you know, to take bring it to his neighbor's house, take some property, and just go off. So he confronted them. Um, he had a shotgun, shot both guys dead, and he was found um, free of you know he was he was found to be you know uh, he wasn't in trouble afterwards, which I think it's I think it's very telling that you know there were some protests afterwards about about you know they say you know mother call him a racist. Um, turned out I think one of the guys was in, was uh, was in the country illegally. But it is, I, think it's a good, I think it's a good thing to see that there are people who will, you know, go above and beyond to, um, to watch out for their neighbors. And so I commend, you know, I commend Joe Horn, I commend the police officer, the retired officer who's, you know, who was standing guard to um, watch out for that business. You know, he, you know, he, I think it's shown in the video, he almost came close to shooting someone because there were some guys that tried to sneak in and steal some stuff, but he confronted them and uh, ran them off. Like I said, I'll include the link to that video. Um, in the description box. Also, an, another group that I um, I heard of that were out that were out you know helping was a uh, Cajun Navy. Um, it's a group of group of guys from Louisiana, because you know they are very familiar with uh, hurricanes and flooding. They went over to Texas with their with some boats and they went around to pick up people who were stranded and you know bring them to safety, which I think was pretty cool. Um, one of my favorite rappers, Trey and Truth. Uh, I read a, I read a news article that he had a uh, I forgot the basketball player's name but he helped but he helped him out um, helped him help get him some uh, get him to dry land and then some people that he had with him um, uh, if I can find the or if I can find the art the link to that article I also include it in the description box uh, Trey's a Trey's a, he's a local celebrity in Houston Texas um, let's see. Now going back to the Cajun Navy, it was interesting that there was some, that there were, there were there were reports of people shooting at um, shooting at the boats. Or, you know, no one no one so far has been shot, but some people were just you know, you know like you had people during Hurricane Katrina shooting at their rescue helicopters. Uh, people f will take advantage of any situation to go along whatever plan they have, you know, whether it be good or evil. Um, but it was good to see that there was a group, you know, going you know people from other states. Uh, whether the National Guardsmen or um, just people who had, you know, people who had boats and supplies to go over and help. It was nice to see that kind of stuff go on. And, um, you know, it's, uh, I think this, there might be another storm coming around. Um, I think it's uh, uh, Edna, if I remember, if I, 
uh, Irene, I forget the name, but um, I think another storm might be heading towards the east. So um, anybody on the east coast, on the, on the southeast, who are, you know, in the areas that are prone to hurricanes, like myself, <laughs> um, I hope you guys are, you know, hope you guys are, uh, you know, doing all you can to prepare yourselves. If if you can leave, and if you, it could be more advantageous to leave um, with your loved ones and some belongings, then you know, do what you gotta do. If you have to stay behind, then I hope that you have all the supplies you need to hunker down and um, also you know take care of yourself and maybe extend a hand to someone else who may be you know who may be in need of need of help. But uh, yeah I just want to do a bit of uh you know just talk a little bit about the storm. Um, I've been mean, you know getting a bit busy with work so I've been uh, you know watching watching videos here and there but um, I'm trying to keep up to date with a lot of things that are going on. If you got any comments or questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and make a video response. Um, look for the links in the description box for um, some of the other stuff I mentioned in this video. If you want to make a donation to the channel, because I guess you know some of my videos are, are being demonetized because of the content, but if you want to help out with the, with the, with the channel, just go to my homepage, look for the Give Up That Cheese button, you can make a donation to my PayPal account. Um, or I guess I can leave a link, also leave a link in the description box. I'll probably do that as well. Uh, any gripes, complaints? Send me a PM. I'll see what I can do to address them. But uh, that's my, you know, this is my thoughts on the situation with Hurricane Harvey in Houston. I'm Edward Jones, aka Daniel Kuhn, and you guys take care.